Welcome back to another part of Whitestone. Anyway, let's play. Alrighty then. We're still inside here, making our way out of it. Hopefully anytime soon though. Uh, let us see if we can... Maybe sell stuff. Uh, 400 red water. Hmm. Like, I'm so scared of selling stuff, dude. How much do we need for the broadsword? It's 8,000, yeah? Yeah, it's 8,000. For the greatsword. Uh, that is heal. Heal. Upgrade. Okay, just press, I guess. Okay, we're at okay. Oh, man. I'm looking so forward to using this great sorted. My goodness, it's so slow. It is the slowest weapon in the world. Uh. Nothing over here. Are you alright? I'm glad you made it. I could not hold the door much longer. The security system wants to re engage and lock down the area. Thanks. Things uh, down there. Lots of them. What things? I'm not sure how to describe them. They're like walking bloated corpses. What? The archaeology crew? No, something else. They attacked me. They're here too. Uh, just like the Dun... We, we got where we came for. Let's get the hell out of here. The professor? He's dead. What about the hull breach? It, it, it was sabotaged. The damage uh, had to be caused by an explosive expert. It was immense. Much worse than I expected. Whoever caused this must have known what they were doing. So their objective wasn't to destroy the ship? I don't know. Uh, we should talk to Howard. Uh, what time is it? 13.17. Uh, 13 or 3.17. Damn, I'm sure it's uh, he is awake. He has not slept much lately. Uh, we should check uh, the lounge. Did the broadsword is so huge, like my pee, pee Wait, what? Terra, Jack. Did you find him? Yes. Uh, he looked peaceful. He was torn apart. He had a bullet wound. I'm not sure how it was... I, I'm not sure if it was self-inflicted or not. He wasn't in his office. I found him deep in storage. It was way more chaotic down there than I expected. Sorry, uh, that's about all I know. Walter was, uh, was the eternal pacifist? Unfortunately, I believe uh, uh, this leaves us with more questions than answers. The details are appreciated. Death is never easy. Death is never dignified. We cling to the impossible idea that our existence can end in poise and decency. Decency. Civilization uh, has us soften uh, the realities of death, but in the end, 
were just fearful animals trying to cling to life. I haven't had countless adventures during my lifetime, and I have seen countless die. Unrecoverable bodies had uh, never even make it back home that are now a, a permanent feature of the landscape, frozen for eternity. He had this, uh, he had this with him. Does it mean anything to you? A pocket watch? I didn't realize he kept it. I gave him this watch over 30 years ago. It was a present for a starting university. He, he was never punctual growing up. I figured this uh, would help him uh, make it to his lectures on time. I didn't realize you two were so close. We weren't. Not like brothers should be. Brothers? Our father died when we were young. Uh, when our mother remarried, I kept my father's name and he took our stepfather's. I left the city and he stayed. I should have, I should have been able to protect him. I knew uh, this assignment was dangerous, but I wasn't brave enough to talk him out of it. <clears throat> uh, he was an uh, experienced archaeologist. I'm sure he knew the risks. I tell myself that, but at the end of the day, he is still no longer with us. Perhaps Walter can have a proper burial after we land. Uh, his soul has long since departed. It would be meaningless. I will bring his body back uh, to the family farm. I think he would have appreciated that. I will make sure his body is collected. It's all uh, all I can do now. What happened to Walter should not have. But there is no way to undo the past. Thank you for doing this, Jack. You too, Terra. I can always count on you. Sad smile. Has security said anything? It was a mess down there. Any uh, sensory equipment in archaeological legal is still down. Uh, let's... Uh, that's what happens when you blindly rely on technology. According to security logs, neither of you were down there. Just traces of a uh, bumbling old adventure. Uh, you two should get some rest. Now come the hard part. I can give... I can start to grieve. Uh, you did uh, not tell uh, Howard about the other things you saw. He was grieving. Besides, do you think he should have believed me? We should talk to the librarian. I'm anxious to hear your results. Perhaps we can clear your name. Uh, those things were down there. Those things? Uh, the things that, uh, from my nightmares, not visions or hallucinations, flesh and blood. Are you sure? I found Walter's body deep in the archaeology storage bay. I'm lucky I wasn't killed. Terra was with you. I did not see them. However, uh, there was gunfire and odd sounds from the communicator. Uh, there were voices, but Jack was the only one in range. Uh, something odd was happening. There. I don't doubt you, Jack. I'm just disturbed by what, you've ta what you're telling me. Uh, we need to tell Alice. Uh, you were trespassing, and you're on parole. Uh, she would lock us up. Well, Jack, anyway. Hey. This, uh, this would only convince those that already think you're guilty. Two dozen crewmates were there before Hader shut it down, and none of them saw anything like you're describing. Are you sure about that? It was a mess down there. If that's the best engineering, uh, if that's the best engineering can do to the ship, is doomed. So, what do we do? We need hard evidence. That's the only thing Al uh, Alice will trust. 
Uh, Walter was shot. Um, Walter was shot. Really? A homicide? I couldn't tell that the wound was right below his chin. Either murder or suicide. Uh, there was a skirmish in the office. Uh, there were bullet casings. However, his body was nowhere near his, uh, his office. I can imagine that would be uh, our culprit. I don't know. Maybe he is. He had everyone in archaeology stay late uh, the night of the explosion. Hmm. If he did kill everyone, uh, we don't know why he did it. Let me think. Do you need anything else, Alex? Uh, before I head to the uh, expedition? Maybe I can find a key point between... Hey. What? Can you hear me? Terra? Alexander? Uh, aren't you answering me? Jack? What happened? You passed out. Why are you laying on my couch? You could have laid in bed with me. <laughs> How long was I out? A few hours. It is morning. I guess I haven't slept much lately. You are pushing yourself too hard. Were you worried about me? No. You were inconveniencing me. I, I should be at work right now, but Howard will understand if uh, of my t uh, tardiness. Since you uh, appear to be okay, I will leave. Thanks, to, thanks for taking care of me. Wait for me. What did I say there? What's my quest? Wait for information about the happenings of the sun. Wait for more information. You're day 13, dude. The following is a, a ship. Wide announcement. Outside temperatures are now below freezing. Wear appropriate gear and keep yourself safe. If unable to obtain proper clothing, contact command. As a matter of safety, the deck will be off limits for the next 24 hours. Check in with your department supervisors for any additional requirements during this time. Thank you. Sanchester crew. Dr. Thorne is on temporary leave. Until the doctor returns, head nurse Emma will be maintaining the infirmary. For, for the time being, the infirmary is limited to emergencies only. Thank you. Dr. Thorne is on? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we heard the first time. Annoying grunt. Man. Uh, they really don't want people uh, pestering Emma. Speaking of the uh, feminine devil. <laughs> it's their infirmary line. Emma, hey. Jack. Doc, I thought you were sick. Bunch of bloody lies. That is, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I am sick of, though. I am sick of seeing the two of you sulking in the shadows, scheming. Your piss poor charm might work on uh, damned fools like Emma, but not on me. What? I know you were. Uh, I know you are, bastard. <laughs> I know what you are, bastard. You're not real. I'll do anything to stop your kind. Anything. What the hell was that? I hope she's okay. I should probably call her quarters. In the infirmary. I guess uh, wasn't done yelling at me. What do you want? Jack? Emma, are you okay? I, I just had the craziest call from the doctor. Shh, not so loud. I am in the storage closet. I need help. Jack? Emma, what is the hell's going on? I was grabbing files. 
Now, just organizing, he saw me and went berserk. He started knocking things over and I'm on my way. Hold on. Oh my God. He's trying to find me. Hide. I'll try. Jack, I... Line cuts out. I need to call security. Alice, you need to get down to the infirmary quick. What's going on? The doctor is attacking the nurse. What? We're on the way. Emma. Jack, I'm so scared. There is something seriously wrong with him. Uh, his face is, is covered in blood. I'm on my way. Bring the cavalry. You better hurt my nurse. Emma! I... Uh, he... Are you okay? <sighs> Why did he do this? Are you okay? It's going to be okay. What the hell's going on? I don't know. But it's going to be okay. Alice. What the hell took you so long? There was an emergency down in storage, and the corridors were on lockdown. Uh, we tried to get here as soon as we could. Ah, <sighs> What happened? The doctor went berserk and attacked Emma. What? Uh, she was hiding from the doctor. He chased her around the infirmary. I heard it over the comm. Good lord, why? He's in shock. Any idea why he attacked her? Ah, uh, you've seen how he treated her. Everyone was looking through some files. Lots of strange stuff happened on the ship. No. I was looking through some files. Maybe Emma, uh... What, what files were you looking at when he attacked you? I... Files? Uh, duplicates, multiple, multiples, are the same person. We're going to have to let her calm down before we can get her anything out of her. Uh, we're going to collect evidence. I'm sure I'll have qu questions. Yeah, just let me know. What the... Jack! Why, why am I not surprised? Is he dead? Yes. I see. When... Well then... Congratulations, nurse. What are you talking about? She's just been promoted. You... Ha! You're out of line. A man is dead. A man who attacked a woman is no man at all. Emma, go get some rest. I'll assign an officer to protect you. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you're safe now, I promise. Safe? We, we can manage uh, the infirmary until you're back. Up for... <laughs> back up on your feet. Okay. He was in pain. He was a pain in the ass. But he did his duty as the medical of officer. Our emergency doctor died in the archaeology. I hate to sound Kalaus. Kalaus. Uh, but we need to do whatever we, we can uh, to get her uh, mentally fit. We need the infirmary. And the infirmary needs her. Uh, she'll be ready when she's ready. You have to be quick. What? You have quick a knack for showing up at the wrong places at the wrong times. More like the right times. Ha, <laughs> yes. Alice, uh, you should deputize Jack. What? Ha ha ha. That sounds like you're right up my alley. Ha ha ha. Sir? Jack, we'll be in touch. Wait for the information about uh, the Sanjay, sir. Go and get into his office. <laughs> Don't mind me running around in the murder scene area.
Bay 13 broadcast the following ship worldwide announcement. Sanchez her crew, our departure has been delayed. Uh, the deck will uh, remain off limits until furthermore notice. Greetings, Jack. Lara. Come to research. I have a request for you. I'm on my way. This game is extremely taxing on your voice, by the way. Come in. Can I get you some tea? No, thank you. The last two weeks have been challenging. How are you? Never better. I'm accused of sabotage and murder. Lesser men uh, would have buckled under the pressure. But remember, knowing when times are tough and doing something about it is two entirely different things. Your brow is, is furrowed. Do you have a question? What does the research department do? Did he hear about the doctor? Yes, quite disturbing. What do you think is going on? I do not know, but it was a senseless death. Uh, he had useful skills, and the ship is worse off without him, I suppose. Does that answer your question, or do you have another? You asked me here, did you want something? Why the obsession with alchemy? Uh, that is quite the question. My temporary purpose as the head of research is to separate myth and rea uh, from reality. A countless alchemists, quote unquote, uh, have uh, proclaimed their triumph over death only to die later. Even more have claimed to have transmuted silver into gold, but all even, uh, eventually becomes improvised. How are you different? I am willing to admit I don't know what I don't know. I treat failure as a step forward success. Uh, that attitude focuses my mind as a student of alchemy. How so? I take necessary precautions to ensure my safety, and I am not deterred by thousands of failures. If it means one uh, replica re re replicable success, you mean you're not making random conclusions or concoctions uh, and hoping for the best? Precisely. I am neither foolish nor desperate. I am reminded of an ancient Chinese emperor and his uh, scholar, scholarly congregations uh, who believe they discovered the recipe for immortality. It was a simple recipe of gold, charcoal, water, and a mysterious silver fluid. Unfortunately for them, they brewed a deadly poison. Was the mystery silver fluid mer uh, mercury? Yes, mercury was uh, heralded as a miracle panacea uh, for far longer than it should have been. Uh, the alchemy community uh, looked the other way when it came to a mercury sampling or sampling, simply uh, because lairs and frauds uh, boast, uh, boasted success with it. Uh, if, the, if the fools were uh, more dispassionate about their work, and look at their results uh, objectively, far fewer alchemists would have died by their own hands. Oh yes. Called it if you have the reason. Uh, we've traveled to an uh, un unexplored corner of the world. Unfortunately, blazing trails uh, come with the inherited risks. 
Uh, like what? Are you a sailor, Jack? Not really, but I've been on uh, traditional ships before. Are you aware of the organic life of the attack, uh, attach, uh, attaches itself uh, to the hulls of uh, seafaring ships like uh, barnacles? Barnacles? Uh, sure, uh, they can damage the hull and waste uh, lots of time and energy. We've managed to run across a similar problem. Uh, we're flying. How is that even possible? We're uncertain on the specifics. There is a growth spreading across the hull of the ship. Unfortunately, access to the deck is restricted. So, we can't do anything about it. No offense, but why are you worried about this? Uh, are you... Uh, there are a lot of other things that uh, uh, to be concerned about. Uh, the growth is spreading rapidly. Left un impended, unimpended, unimpeded. I fear uh, we will not make it back to a safe harbor. Uh, by my calculations, the ship will be unable to uh, maintain altitude in a few days. Damn, that's serious. What did Hader uh, and the captain say? They do not see the immediate threat and are unwilling to risk their lives to deal with it. Our ship can fare uh, the seas as well as the skies. And, uh, sorry, uh, but uh, with unmitigated uh, acceleration, the hull will buckle, especially uh, with the extra strain from Alcohology's unfortunate demise. Okay, what do you want uh, me to do about it? Oh, nothing. Uh, you're in on probation, remember? Yeah? If I had a sample, I could study it. But what would require someone to break the rules? Yes, it would. Good luck. Smile. Retrieve a sample from Lao from above deck. Do, 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 do. So we need to, ooh. Why is the above deck so broken? This seems like a good spot. Hello? Jack. Where are you? I'm at the scrape uh, some barnacles off the hull. I am sorry. I do not understand the joke. I have difficult time with humor. I'm serious. Oh, why are you doing that? Lao asked me to. Really? Interesting. Is something wrong? No. No. Uh, I'm just surprised that she asked you. Uh, tread carefully, Jack. She has a reputation for being difficult to work for. You could end up back in the brig if you fail. Uh, she's a little boring, definitely arrogant, but I haven't had any issues with her so far. She demands perfection and despite, despises in, in petitude. But uh, she appears fond of you. Do you mind getting me a sample too while you're at, uh, out there? Uh, sure. Whatever. Uh, bring the growth sample to Alexander. Optional, speak to Lao first.
All right, there you go, your goop. Excellent. Let's take a closer look. This is all you brought me. Huh? It's really shriveled up. I didn't look... It didn't look like that outside. Um, uh, you said uh, you got this from outside. Exposed to any elements? Yeah, what is it? Let me show you. Uh, it is supposed to be something. What are you two doing? Oh, Terra. A simple experiment. Please come in. Uh, high gross copy uh, can sometimes take a while to occur. Is there any way to speed things up? Like a transmutation symbol or hydro high hydration? Certainly, uh, feel free to try. Wah! Ah, the growth apparently requires water to maintain its shape. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> but why is it on our ship? I'm not sure. The further north we go, the colder it gets. But it gets significantly drier too. Perhaps the atmosphere here is too dried out, too dry for the growth. So it is uh, infesting uh, the ship to survive. Why isn't it freezing over? There is an ex exoskeleton of sorts. It must have evolved to ins insulate or perhaps uh, hibernate. When I dis dissected it, uh, I found no organs or recoveries of any kind. There was only dense uh, organic material that appears to retain water. Hmm. It must require massive quantities of water to grow. Our stowaway uh, might be a newly discovered life form. Stowaway? Uh, do you think it was uh, just glowing around in the, the wind looking for something to latch onto? This temperature is too cold uh, for something like this to exist. Very little survivors outside, of, uh, outside at this temperature. It is likely to come from the inside of the ship. An interesting hip, uh, hypothesis. But... If the growth is venturing outside, the ship will be overrun soon. Yes, I fear so. But where is it hiding? Storage, plenty of escape uh, to hide there. What about the boiler room? I doubt the growth uh, would be able to survive a boiling water. The water works, maybe. Uh, if... if where am I reading this if word? Uh, we have had issues uh, with water uh, flow on the expedition wing recently. I think it might have a sun chaser blueprints around here somewhere. Jack, I found you brought wet boots. <laughs> huh? You'll need to investigate. I will go with you. I'd appreciate the company. This is not a romantic endeavor, Jack. Endeavor? Of course. Be careful, both of you. Tomorrow night, meet me below deck, okay? Got it. Day 15, night. Go to the water deck. Okay. My character is this... How can I say it? I'm pressing up right now, and my character is running a completely different direction. Read to increase what stats?
Oh man. Welcome back. Hey Alex. Uh, let's not uh, make a ruckus out here. Uh, let's get back to my office. How's it going? It's been a little slow lately. Un understandable, I guess. Uh, yeah, with everything going on. People might not have a lot of time to catch up to do reading. No. Uh, this, um, uh, this used to be a second most popular place on the ship. I remember reaching full capacity once or twice. When we first opened, ha! I don't believe it. Uh, I would be—I I would not lie. I mean, it is a figure of speech. Oh, I can help you with something specific. I just came by to chat. I can tell you much. How much you enjoy our conversations? I—I, I, you don't like company, do you? I don't dislike it, but I do enjoy solitude. I see. Have you always been like that? Socializing between has been difficult. It seems to get more challenging the older I get. Why is that? Uh, when I was younger, I was easier to anticipate how people would behave. Now, people seem to act counter to their own needs. That's why I like about what I like about books. Characters. Uh, yeah, characters don't betray their own. Well, characters, unless that's how the author intended it. And the good authors always give their characters a logical reason to do so. Everything is predictable. Sounds like a boring if you ask me. <laughs> Perhaps. Maybe I am at the point where my life were boring is good. Um, I'm sure... Uh, some excitement uh, would do you good. Even if it's just meeting new people. Meeting people doesn't have the same appeal it once did. Why is that? Well, I appreciate the social uh, experience. However, if you excuse me, I'd like to continue my book. Uh, have a nice day. Okay. Above deck. Where do we go? Day 15. Uh, meet Terra below deck. What day is it? Day 13. Well, we're still going below deck. We're still going to jump, dude. You know what I'm saying? I guess boxing is the only thing you can do. Leveled up again. Oh, I got second place now. Was day sixteen, right? Day fifteen. One more day. Uh, below deck. It's the final countdown.
Yo, I'm gonna go to sleep early today, man. Formula One is happening for me not too long from now. Racing on Suzuka. Mm -mm -mm. Suzuka is such a beautiful track, dude. In my opinion, it's one of the best tracks uh, in the world. Okay, day 15. Night. Yo, why is she here? Tara seems worried about something. You look a little blue. Are you okay? Let's go. So Alex, what is this place? Uh, the waterworks. I thought uh, we made it, uh, made that clear. It, uh, Circulates water across the ship. Yes, I know that. But what is the point? Like a, like a sewer? Half cor correct. Uh, it collects filters and then distributes water to the engines uh, and core systems. Uh, we can take on water when uh, seafaring and ex expel it uh, to uh, reduce weight for flight. Got it. Anything else? The waterworks feed the engines to help keep it cool. And there's nothing poisonous down here, right? Nothing that will bite me. Venomous? And no. There are no toads, snakes, or giant spiders. If that's what... Uh, if, if, if it is not a swamp. Doesn't smell bad, at least. Uh, more metallic. And nothing. Uh, I suppose you uh, shouldn't drink the water. Excessive contact uh, could irritate your skin or cause infection. And drowning is a possibility if you're careless or reckless. What? Where is uh, she running off to? Perhaps there's some sort of uh, flotating aid. Flotation aid. Uh, let me check my notes. Uh, Jack, did you receive that? Uh, Roger. I'll tell you what I find. What did the chick do, dude? Looks like she was jumping for days there. So pretty much we got a request to stay out of the water at all costs. What are the what are these pylons? You know more about this ship than I do. Hey, where are you going? Wait up. There's this barge down here. Why would you need to barge this in? How big is this ship? Approximately 340 meters in length, depending on how uh, technical you want to get. This barge uh, probably runs the entire length. I don't think we can use it, it's broken. 
Any ideas? Uh, let me see uh, what the schematics say. How many pumps have you seen? One, I think. Uh, you should have seen at least two um, or more by now. I wonder what. I wonder if uh, the decomp uh, decompression in archaeology damaged uh, the connection system in the waterworks. A maintenance uh, team should have seen the damage down here. If that was the case, uh, they had their hands full. Uh, maybe uh, they haven't made it all the way down there yet. There should be another pump above. Uh, if we can start, or if we can restart it, the barrage should uh, should be operatable. The pump appears damaged. The archaeology explosion must have caused a cascade failure across the waterworks. Uh, you'll need to manually restart using a specific sequence. Roger. There's an auxiliary pump on the port and uh, uh, starboard sides. Uh, the connecting bar barrages uh, work on uh, separate power lines. Uh, those appear uh, to be operational. Uh, that would be uh, that will be you, Jack. Great. I'm afraid you don't have the dexterity of this, Jack. Uh, plus, I don't. Uh, I doubt. Uh, you, uh, you could squeeze into the control relay and uh, maneuver yourself uh, 20 meters up. Oh yeah, sure. I'll I'll take the barrage, no problem. Did I say barrage? I meant garbage. Very, very shaky, dude. This could have been done better than. For it to go out. Heavy ammo. No, no, not that way. So far, this broadsword is a single hit. Kill anything. Another magician's coin. I should show this to the magician back at the Sun Chaser. Skill point gain, baby. It is what I'm talking about. Yes, about. Ammonia. Ammonia? Blue Sapphire. I think this might have been where we came from. Oh, <laughs> lol, dude. Uh, lol.
So even though this weapon is slow, it even does a lot of damage when uh, when there's backlash. Now what do we do? Excuse me. I'm stuck. So, okay, here we go. I fell in the water, I think. And I found the water again. <sighs> dude, this is the most glitched game I've played in a long time, dude. Now I can't even go there anymore. Why am I aiming every now and then? Small amount of ammo. Look at him go. Okay, let's try and get up here. There's no way.
It was like I'm running in circles the whole time. Okay, we got up here. Now what? Like seriously, now what? <laughs> we haven't even... We haven't even seen a save point yet, by the way. So let's go. There must be another way to go. Wonderful. Making my way downtown, a walking face. Um, face is space, and I'm homebound. But dip it, 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 I mean, we'll eventually find the right way, I guess. That to me just felt wrong. But we're going back there now. Since there's no other way, we'll be here. Or we could save here.
And you know what happens when we save and we're in an hour. We end the episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day supporting the channel. If you want to support a little bit more, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I'm looking forward to see you beautiful people in the very next video. Love you guys. Take care. And as always, remember to twist some nibs. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Have a great time.